Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make my 3D cubic right angle weave cross. This cross can be worn by a man or a woman, and it can be used a couple different ways as a pendant, and you can also use it in a bracelet. Now to make this as easy as possible, I'm going to show you how to make it in three colors, just so you know which section's which. So this side's all bronze, and if you look through the red ones, they're all in the middle, and then the black seed beads on the back. So this, I have to warn you, is not a beginner tutorial. This is going to be pretty confusing, but I'm going to try my best to explain how to make it. Here is the list of materials you're going to need to make a cross. You're going to need 4 feet of 8 pound or 10 pound monofilament, 52 6 aught seed beads, 28 8 aught seed beads, or a substitute is two millimeter rounds. Now, if you want to do it in three colors so you can understand it better, I'm using 14 red, the beads that are in the center, 19 bronze, and 19 black. So if you don't have these same colors, just remember that the out there's 19 beads on the outsides, and then the inside has 14 beads. So let's get started. I'm going to start by picking up three black seed beads, sliding them down, picking up a fourth and crossing through it. Put my ends together and bring it down. Now the bottom of the cross is going to be very similar to the spacer bars that I made before. So now I have my four seed beads here. I have to pick up a red seed bead on each string and then I'm going to pick up a bronze and cross through that. Put my ends together and bring it down. So now we have this. I pinned my work down and now I'm going to pick up one bronze and one red and go through this black sea bead and through the red sea bead and make sure that I come out behind this thread here. Pull it through so it looks like this. And I'm going to take my black string and pick up a bronze and a red. And do the same thing. Go through this black seed bead and then through the red and under this string here. So now we have this. I'm going to take one of my strings, I'll do the red one. And I'm going to go through these two seed beads that we just added, the bronze and the red. And then I'm going to go through this black seed bead. And then I'm going to go through this red seed bead. Pull this through. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go through the red, or the bronze and the red. And then I have to go through this black seaweed right here. Just like this. Now I'm going to pull it and I'm just going to start to get a cube shape. I lay it back out and I have to go through this red seaweed here. So now both of my strings are exiting out these red sea beads. Now I have to pick up one bronze sea bead and cross through it. Pull it and I'm going to get my cube shape. Now I have to reinforce this right here because it's not connected. So I'm just going to go through this bronze and then this bronze. Pull it through. Do the same thing with my black string through this bronze and then this bronze. Pull it through and tighten it up. And now we have one cube made and it's reinforced all the way around. Now we're ready to make our second cube. I flipped my work over 
so this black side is the front so this here is actually it standing up and this is the center now both strings are exiting out of the bronze seed bead and on each string I'm gonna pick up one bronze and I'm gonna pick up another and cross through it so we have this now I'm going to pick up one red on each string and one black now I have to take my strings go through with my black string I'm gonna go through this red C bead and through this bronze one make sure I exit out the back just like this now I have to take my black string and go through this red one go through these two black ones just like this now this string I already have my two beads picked up so I'm going to go through this red seed bead with my red string and then I have to go through this bronze in the back side here then I'm going to go through the red and the black pull it through and now I have to go through this black seed bead and then up through this black seed bead and I'm going to do the same thing with my other string they both have to exit out of the black seed beads just like this pull it and now I have to pick up a black seed bead and cross through it And again, this isn't closed up here. It's closed up on these corners, but it's not on these. So I have to take my string and reinforce it by going through the red and the bronze. Just like this. Take my other string, the red one, and go through this red one. And then through this bronze. So now both strings are exiting out of the bronze C bead. So now we have two cubes here, and if you look at the cross, we need three cubes right here in the middle so we can add our sides on. Now we are repeating the same steps over and over when we're going in one direction, so we're going straight. So we are, um, each cube, we repeat the same steps over to make that cube. So I'm going to show you how to do the third cube, and then we're going to work on the sides of the cross. So I'm still exiting out these bronze C beads. I'm going to take and pick up two bronze C beads, one in each string, and then pick up a third one and cross through that. Now I'm going to take my black string and pick up one red and one black and go through this red and this bronze and try to come out behind this monofilament over here. I'm going to go down, back through the red and the black sea beads that we just added. And then I'm going to go through this black. And then I'm going to take my other string and pick up one red and one black I'm going to go through this red sea bead and through this bronze and come out on underneath that monofilament now I have to go back down through these two red and black that we just added and I'm going to shoot across to the front and go through this sea bead here so now we're both exiting both strings are exiting out of this black sea beads. 
seaweed. Now I'm going to go up to the bottom of this black one and do the same with this other string. Just like this. Pull it through. I'm going to pick up one black seaweed and cross through it. Just like this. Bring it down. And again, we have to reinforce the top of this because it's not connected right here in the corner. But because we are at our third cube, we're going to do it just a little bit differently. Instead of me going through the red and then crisscrossing both of my strings through the bronze, I'm just going to go through the red because it's already connected right here and we're going to work on adding the sides of our cross. So one string on that side I'm going to do the same on this. Just like this. Now we have three cubes and we're ready to do the sides of our cross, which we're going to do with one string. I unpinned my work and now I'm ready to add the side of my cross. So exiting out this red seed bead, I'm going to pick up a bronze, because my bronze is on this side, and then a red and a black. Those three. And then I'm going to go through this red seed bead, then I'm going to go and flip my pendant and go through this bronze seaweed right here. Pull it through. Now I have to pick up two bronze seaweeds and I have to go through this bronze one on the top just like this. And to close this gap I have to go through this bronze one just like this. And now, holding it this way, you could see the red seed beads. Exiting out of this bronze, right here, I have to go down through this red seed bead. And flip it over and grab it, coming up this side. And now I have to pick up a black seed bead and a red. Now flip it back over so coming out this red one right here I'm going to flip it over and what I have to do is go through this bronze so you could see that it's filling out there and then I'm going to go back through this same red seed bead this one and then I should exit out this side over here again pull it through now exiting out of this red Sea bead. I have to go up through this black one and then I have to go through this sea bead over here. Now I have to pick up one black sea bead, slide it down, I'm going to turn it so it's on its side. I have to go through this red one and I'm just going to go through all these right here to make it more square through the bronze through this red pull it through turn it back to this side go down this black one this black one pull it through pull it snug and you can see how it's closing up right there on the side now right here is not closed and this isn't closed so I have to go through this black one on the bottom, up through this black one, and then I have to go through this black seed bead. So now we're exiting out this black seed bead and our goal on the other side is to exit out of the same black seed bead. So it, it is going to seem a little different when we do this side. So, if you didn't understand this, make sure that this part here, that you watch it again. Because if I go to this side, and you learn how to make on this side, it might seem a little bit different from the other side. So, this side here that's black, um, if you have a hard time with that, watch it over again. And now we're ready to do the other side that's bronze. 
Now I'm ready to do the bronze side. I'm going to pick up one bronze, one red, and one black. I'm going to go through this red seed bead towards me. And then I have to go down through this bronze seed bead. Pull it through. Pick up two bronze seed beads. Go through this top one. Then go down through this one. Now I have to go through this bronze one, or not bronze, this red sea bead here. Oops. This red one. Exit out this side. Now I have to pick up one black and one red. So I'm exiting at this red one right here. And I have to go through this bronze. Then I have to go back down through this same red seed bead again. Come out the back side, pull it through. Now I have to flip my work over. I have to take my string and go up through this black sea bead. Then I have to go through this black sea bead. And I'm going to pick up one black and go through this bottom red. Turn it to the side. I'm going to go down to this bronze. Through this red. And then through this black one that we had to add. I have to go through this bottom one. Up through this one. Then through this black sea bead. Now both of our strings should be exiting out of this black sea bead. Now we're ready to add the rest of the cross, which is going to be the same as this part here, where we're going in one direction with both strings. So both strings are exiting out of this black sea bead, and what I have to do now is pick up one black sea bead on each string, and then I'm going to pick up a third and cross through that one. So just like this, I'm going to work with one string, I'm going to pick up one red and one bronze, go through this red sea bead right here, and also through this black one. I have to make sure that my string is going underneath of this back string. And now that I'm through there, I have to go through this red and bronze. Then I have to pass through this bronze sea bead in the front. I'm going to swap my strings and pick up one red and one bronze sea bead. I have to go through this red sea bead here and also I have to go through this black one and underneath this string pull through now I have to pass down through the red and the bronze just like this then I have to go through this bronze pull through I'm going to go up this bronze Do the same thing with the other string of this bronze. Pull it. Now I have to pick up my last C bead by crisscrossing through it.
and we have to reinforce it because it's not connected on this side over here it's only connected on that side so I'm going to go through this red and then to the black same thing with this one to the red and then the black now we're ready to add the seed beads in the gaps so I'm going to be working on this black cross here I'm going to be finishing this one off and I'm using two millimeter beads instead of eight dot seed beads. So all we're going to do is fill in these gaps here on the outer edge. So pick up one seed bead and go through this one. Pick up another and go through this bead here. And it's going to pop into this hole. Pick up another and go down this one another one do this one another one down to this one and sometimes it will get twisted if your string starts getting kinked up is what usually does it pick up another go down this one Okay, now I'm going to pick up my last one for this spot. I'm going to fill in this corner and I have to go this way. And then I have to go down this bead. Then I have to flip it over and go through this one. Now, this here is positioned so we can work on the back. But before I go to the back, I have to use this one and fill in the rest. So I'm mixing right here by that one, and I just flipped it upside down because I'm right handed. I'm going to fill in the gaps, just continuing doing the same thing. Passing through all the outer edge beads. One more through this one and now we're back at the bottom so I have to loosen this one up that we did on the other corner pick up a two millimeter or a eight dot C bead and go through this one just like that then I have to go through this one and then I'm going to cross through this six dot C bead here so pull both strings and that tightens up and now both strings are exiting out of this 6 dot C bead. So now one side's filled and we have to do the other. This side is done the same exact way, but instead of starting from the bottom going down, we're starting from the bottom going up. Just fill in all your gaps. one bead at a time. Then this one up here, just gonna fill in a corner like this and stop. Flip it over and I'm gonna work on this side. Through this one. Pick up another. Go down here, pick up another through this one. I have three left, so one here on the side, one in this hole.
and one in the corner. So I have to move this one out of the way just a little bit. My finger out there. So now pull both strings tight and both sides should be filled. Now we have this and we are ready to add our knot. So now I'm going to tie the knots. Both of our strings are exiting out of this bead and I'm going to take one of them I'm going to pass it down through this 2 millimeter round. Then I'm going to lift this up and it's going to make this thread come out and I'm going to catch it. And now I'm going to tie a half hitch knot. I'm going to make a loop, go through it twice, bring it down slowly, pull it tight, and now I have to go through this six hot sea bead right here, just like this. And I have to tie another knot. If I open this up some, I have to go under this silver bead and grab that string that is going through the silver bead right there. Now I have to make a loop and go through it twice. Put the knot right here, just like this. Now I'm going to go through the silver bead. And if I can, I'll go through the black CB too. Okay. Now I'm going to go through this black CB. It. Now I'm going to keep on going around here tying half hitch knots as far as I can go. Uh, I'll probably do like three in this side, three in this side. So keep on going doing your half hitch knots and then cut your th strings and I'll show you different ways you can use your pendant. So there are a couple different ways you can string this as a pendant. You can use the nylon coated stainless steel beading wire and put it through the top right here and it would hang like this and then bead the rest of the wire or you can take a head pin pick up matching beads and go right up to the bottom of the cross out the top get another matching bead put that in the top now this is just to prevent the um, head pin from sliding through the cross so this is like a stopper bead and this here up top makes it look more decorative. So then I would do a wrapped loop right here to make it a really nice piece and then I would just put it on a thin chain so it's up to you or you can use it on a rosary if you like making rosaries. So those are a couple different ways that I use it and do what you like best. This is it. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Like this video, leave a comment, and follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching.